This is The Big Question with Dr. Ellie Gonzalez, brought to you by Good News Unlimited, tackling the big questions in a simple and positive way. Today's big question is, does the Bible contradict itself? Well, people who believe that the Bible was inspired by God would say, no, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. Meanwhile, people who try to discredit the Christian faith come up with lists of apparent contradictions. That kind of looks like hard evidence to me. So who's right? I guess that first of all, I'd have two questions. The first one would be, what does a contradiction look like? Because I think that many of the apparent contradictions that people point out in the Bible aren't really contradictions. And the second question is, if we were to find a contradiction, what would it mean? Because I think that what a contradiction means would depend on how you read the Bible. So let's look at what a contradiction might look like. You remember the guy called Judas, right? The one who betrayed Jesus. Well, the Bible says two different things about how he died. In Matthew's account, it says that Judas hung himself, while in Luke's account in Acts, it says that he fell to the ground and burst wide open. Pretty gruesome, eh? Just because Judas' death is described in two different ways doesn't mean that we have a contradiction here. It could be that he hung himself and the rope snapped and he fell, bursting open. Or it could be that his attempt at hanging himself didn't work, so he went and threw himself off a cliff. Or maybe there are other options. A contradiction would be if one account said that Judas hung himself and the other said that he didn't hang himself. But what would it mean if we did find a contradiction? Remember, I said that that depended on how you read the Bible. I know that some people think that Christians are all the same, but they're not. There are many Christians who see the actual Bible they hold in their hands as actually the very words, word by word, that God wanted written down. And if you were to find a blatant contradiction, not just a difference in perspective, that would be a significant problem for them. However, there's also many Christians who see the Bible as God's message to humanity, expressed by inspired people in their own words and in terms of their own cultures and circumstances. They can allow for immaterial errors that might have come through, perhaps even in the transmission process of thousands of years. As for me, I'm not really impressed by contradictions. I'm impressed that a book written by over 35 people during a time span of up to 1,500 years can be so consistent. And my personal bottom line is that the Bible never contradicts itself in its central message about the love of God for us and in its offer of eternal life through Jesus Christ. For more, contact goodnewsunlimited.com. 